Tom, why are you gluten free? Oh my goodness. Well, my ex and I could not get pregnant. And I was an intern at the time and I called the seven most famous doctors I'd ever heard of and asked them, what do you do with infertility? And they all told me what they do and I wrote it all down. I put a program together. We were pregnant in six weeks. Our neighbors in married housing, I lived on campus at the time, they had gone through artificial insemination, nothing had worked for them, and they asked if I could work with them. And I said, well, I don't know what I'm doing, but I don't think it's gonna hurt you. They were pregnant in three months. And since then, I came out in practice just hot to trot, just ready to work with people anywhere I could with a lot of infertility cases, recurrent miscarriages, and things like that. And what is consistent with every case I've worked on in the last 30 years, every single case had food sensitivities impacting on their entire system, on their liver, on their reproductive system, every single case. So the result was I always look first at changing the foods, and the most common food consistently has been gluten. So take it forward now, and we got pregnant, and my 33-year-old daughter just um, enjoyed her wedding last week in Chicago. We were just so joyous. And I published a paper uh, in the American Journal of Practical Gastroenterology on reproductive disorders and celiac disease. And I published that a year and a half ago. And there's 64 references on how gluten sensitivity can impact on reproductive function with recurrent miscarriages, intrauterine growth retardation, which means the baby doesn't grow very well, early births, preemie births, 64 studies. Out there. So why is gluten-free so important in my life? Because I've seen where people die from it. I've seen miscarriages, so babies die. I've seen so many different conditions that it's just a question that one wants to ask. And when you ask that question, if you are, and when you get the right kind of help from the right people, it's a joyous, fun, healthy, vibrant, you're eating like you've never eaten before. And you look back and you say, how could I ever have eaten all those ding-dongs and ho-hos? So you just say, my gosh, I'm so grateful.